Southwest Tennessee Nikki. Today we want to cook shepherd's pie for Sunday dinner. And what that consists of is some ground, well, in the United States it consists of ground beef, peas and carrots, and we're going to top it with mashed potatoes. And for the mashed potatoes, I already started the boil on the mashed potatoes. Um, you'll get about six or seven small to medium rusted potatoes. Start boiling those while you get ready to cook your ground beef. And let me get this started. In our ground beef, we're going to use some garlic powder. We're using garlic powder. We're going to use some onion powder. We're going to use some Tony's. And we're going to use some ground, uh, gourmet hamburger meat. I mean, girl, gourmet hamburger season, not the meat, okay? And we're going to use like a half of a chopped onion with some minced garlic. And I got some, uh, some little peas and carrots from Walmart, great value. You can get them frozen, or if you don't want to use frozen, that's fine too. So I'm starting to cook this ground beef. Like I said, this is two pounds and it's popping, y'all. Stand back, camera. Stand back. Okay. I'm going to cook this up. And it don't take long at all to make this. My family loves shepherd pie. That's a really good, good meal. It'll fill you up because it got that mashed potatoes on top. And it's very flavorful. And also, I could fail to mention, we're gonna put, uh, we're gonna put some ketchup and Worcestershire sauce in that thing, okay? So, go ahead and start seasoning this. Put some onion powder on it. I think I got some water in this skillet because it's popping like, like crazy. A little garlic powder. Put some Tony's on it. Put some Tony's on that thing. Turn it down some. Ooh, it's raining grease up in this thing. Put some gourmet hamburger on it. Okay. Make sure it's real flavorful now. And then when it's finished uh, cooking, you want to drain the grease off of it. And then that's when you want to add your uh, your onions and your gar uh, your minced garlic. Okay. Smelling good already, y'all. Smelling good. Okay. And I'm going to finish grounding this ground beef and drain the grease off of it and go ahead and add my onions and uh, minced garlic and I'll be right back to show y'all the next step, okay? Be right back. Okay, y'all, I'm adding the onions. And like I said, it's like a half of an onion chop. And I'm going to add this uh, minced garlic. It's maybe like a little, maybe like a tablespoon of minced garlic. Give or take, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna let that cook in there. Hope y'all doing good today. It's a pretty day here in Tennessee. We got a little, uh, yesterday was real hot, but today it was like cloudy, windy, but it, it felt so good. Cause yesterday, when I tell you it was hot, it was hot. So today was like refreshing. I don't know what the week holds. Hopefully it's good weather. Ooh, y'all, I love the smell of onions and garlic. Oh my God. If you ain't with this game, you, I don't know where you at. Come on. Ooh. Onions cook on there. And like I said, y'all, when um, I'm cooking these potatoes now, 
So uh, when you're able to stick a fork through it easily, then it's done. I usually uh, cut mine in fours and then uh, put it in the pot to boil so it can boil a little faster. So just do that and then start mixing this together. Oh, y'all, and I forgot to add, uh, add some seasoned salt to taste with this. I forgot all about the seasoned salt. Or well, if you don't want no salt, then that's fine. But I added a little seasoned salt while we was off camera because I forgot all about the seasoned salt. I don't know how I forgot about the seasoned salt. Okay. And then, y'all, look what we're going to do. We're going to put like a tablespoon of ketchup. And you need this W sauce, this Worcestershire sauce, okay? Add that Worcestershire sauce to that thing. Y'all don't put that in that thing, okay? Listen to the sizzle on that thing. And when I tell y'all, them two combinations just that by itself, oh, the aroma. Come on now. Come on now. They marinate together. Marry together. Hey, y'all ready for Father's Day? It's next Sunday. If I'm not mistaken, what y'all cooking for Father's Day weekend? Leave it down in the comments what y'all cooking. Oh, y'all not cooking. Are y'all gonna make the husband's grill? You know how we do. <laughs> Put them out there. They gotta work on Father's Day. Okay. Let's get Mary together. Who this smells so good, y'all? Okay. And the next thing you want to do, we're going to take these peas and carrots. And we're gonna pour, I pour like half the bag in there, or almost the whole bag, since it's a small bag. Or if you wanna pour the whole bag, it's fine. Okay. And these are frozen, as you can see. Chop them things up. Get them all marinated in the goodness too. Come on now. Okay. All right. Okay, y'all, we're gonna want this to simmer for about 10 minutes. Get those peas and carrots a little soft. And then we're going to come back and show you how to put these mashed potatoes together, okay? Be right back. Okay, y'all, I'm back. Okay, here's the uh, potatoes that I took out of the pot. I went ahead and mashed that up just a little bit so we can work with it, you know? Okay, we're going to go ahead and season it up. Let's put the, hold on, let's go ahead and put a little season on it. We're gonna have to taste it also to make sure it's just right for you. I add a little seasoned salt, but you can use regular salt on your potatoes. Put some black pepper on it. And it can be in any order, you know? Okay. And this is like a tablespoon of melted butter. I put some butter on there. 
And I'm a, I like to put cream cheese in my mashed potatoes. So I'm just taking like a half of a eight ounce block of uh, cream cheese. Put that in there. Okay. Put a little extra, you know, just for luck. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Then we, I like to put a little sour cream in that thing. Just put like a tablespoon of sour cream. And one of the little secret ingredients, put some shredded, some finely shredded Parmesan cheese in it. Don't throw that in that thing. Put like, I put like half of this bag. Let me see how many ounces. This is six ounces. So about three ounces. Okay. We're gonna try to stir that up a little bit. Hold on one second. Stir that in a little bit. Start working with it. And we're gonna have to put some milk in her also. So, get her stirred up. And you're gonna want your mashed potatoes to be kind of loose. Let me get a bigger spoon. You want her loose so you can, uh, put, cause we're gonna bake her. So, yes, I said her. We're gonna bake her. And what we also gonna do, we're gonna put two eggs in the mashed potatoes. Because when you bake in mashed potatoes, you need to put that egg in there. It's gonna cause you to have a, like a, a, a look, orange-like tint to her. So, help her to get a little crispy. Put a little, put some more, um, Season salt on it. Black pepper. Okay. I'm gonna pour a little milk. I'm using evaporated milk, but you can use uh, whatever milk you wanna use. This is a cup, but I'm gonna start out with just a half. Cause like I said, you want her to be kinda loose. loose okay stir it up okay let me uh use my little hand mixer and see if i can whip her up whip her up real nice and curvy let me go ahead and dump these eggs in here what you're gonna use you're gonna use two egg yolks not the whole egg the yolks okay Put the yolks in there. A little more milk. Put your elbow in that thing. Okay, let me get the hand mix. I'll be right back y'all. I'm gonna get the hand mix and get a real good and pretty. Okay y'all I'm back. Okay I had to use a hand mixer to make her a little bit smooth. If you want your potatoes to be a little you know lumpy you don't have to use a hand mixer but I want her a little bit smooth and make sure you taste your mashed potatoes you know to see if it's you know enough pepper enough enough uh, sour cream if you're using sour cream enough um, seasoned salt if you're using seasoned salt because you want it to be perfect before you put your your uh, thing to get your shepherd pie together, okay? All right, so we're gonna get this thing put together. Get you a nice little cute casserole dish. I call her Tiny. This casserole dish is called Tiny. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and scoop this mixture into this casserole dish. Scoop it in now. Y'all, when I tell you, you're going to love this. I'm telling you. It smells so good. It tastes good. And it's very filling. Okay. Get 
get this spread out. And uh, don't forget, uh, go ahead and preheat your oven to 375. And we're going to cook her for about 15 to 20 minutes. What you're basically looking for is the mashed potatoes to get brown on top to your liking, okay? Because everything is already done. You basically just want it to get nice and brown, golden brown. We want all corners of this thing, okay? Let me get every pea and carrot out of this thing. Okay, spread it out. Spread this thing out. Okay, pat her down. Get her nice and pretty. Pat her down. Okay. All right. Get them corners. You know them corners are the best. Get the corners. Smash it down. Okay. Now, give me just a moment. Rinse this spoon out. Okay, now we're gonna pour the mashed potatoes on her. And like I said, you want your mashed potatoes to be a little loose because she's gonna, you know, harden up and cook. And the most important thing is to taste test your mashed potatoes. Make sure it's just like you want it. Okay. It's gonna harden up once it get in the oven and start cooking. Right there. Okay. Then you want to get you a little fork. Get a fork because it won't mess. You know, it won't pull up that uh, your little ground beef mixture. It won't mess with that. If you use a spoon, sometimes it pulls it up. Kind of want to smooth it out. You want to put some little lines. I know some people put lines in theirs. Okay. Y'all, y'all gonna enjoy this. I'm telling you. Trust your girl. Okay. Now we're just gonna try to make her cute and put some paprika. It's just for show. It ain't nothing that's gonna make it taste any different. Put a little paprika on her. Okay. Then we're gonna, we know, we want to put some green in that thing. We're gonna put some little parsley flakes. Put some little parsley flakes. Okay. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna top her off with some more Parmesan cheese. You don't have to, but I'm just gonna top it off with just a little thin, like a thin layer of Parmesan cheese. Okay. And that's it. We're gonna put it in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes. Whenever she start getting golden brown, I'm gonna pull her out and I'm gonna let her sit. Let her sit for about 10, 15 minutes before you cut into her. And I'm gonna let you see how it look. Okay, be right back. Okay, y'all, I'm back. Okay, this is the close-up of how it looks when it comes out the oven. That's how she looks. Okay. And this is how she looks plated. And that's how she looks plated. Look at her. 
Look at them. Okay. And y'all, that's it for the shepherd's pie. Simple and easy, quick, and it's filling for your family. And I hope y'all enjoyed this video, and I hope you subscribe, like, and comment, and share with your friends and family. And I love y'all, and y'all stay safe out there. Bye-bye.